way So starting today I'm breaking out of this cage YouTubers, how's everybody doing out there today? Today is a five weeks post op. I don't know where the time is going this week, but OMG, I can't believe it's been five weeks. Oh, J July 2nd was my surgery. I had my surgery um, done in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Ortiz through alighterme.com and I, my highest weight was 245. My pre-op diet weight was 220, between 218 and 220. My surgery weight was 208. And officially today I am at 188. That's right guys, officially lost my 30 pounds. I have slowed way down in losing weight. So two to three pounds a week. I am still officially extremely happy as long as I'm still losing and not a stall. So, but it slowed me down because I put, picked my foods up. I can hold a good three to four ounces in my tummy. I can have like maybe half a banana um, with a couple of bites of fruit, um, other fruits like watermelon. Got my watermelon here. Um, so, and then I've been using my cupcake pan a lot like for today I, I put um, raw egg I well I sprayed the cupcake pan down I put raw egg and then a couple pieces of ham and put some cheese on top of it put it all in the oven my kids loved it too because I made it all for my kids as well and um, cooked it until it was cooked all the way through and I had one and one just completely filled me and I was very happy about that. Hold on, this watermelon looks so good right now. I need to, I need to take a bite. Mm. So sweet. So, you like my little, I'm a rock star, 80s rock star hair. That's right. Just let it go wild, and I look like I'm from the 80s. Um, and obviously I look extremely exhausted and tired. That's because I am. My boys caught something this uh, last Monday from somebody that was in the arena. I am going to put all the links that I know of, of our experience, down in the description box below. If you have not seen it, it has gone viral. And most news stations and internet and you know like between Twitter and Facebook it has been posted everywhere about the whole situation with my son in WWE he calls himself Drax Shadow and he uh, ooh, that made me feel a little I maybe I swallowed that too fast and his catchphrase was don't fear the darkness fear the shadow and it's just all over social media. He became a little famous thing. There's even fan pages for him already. And we had interviews with TMZ Sports. We had interviews with WWE. It was an amazing experience. If you want to see behind the scenes and some part of our experience, go over to Mom's Vlog 80 on my other channel. I daily vlog on that channel as well. So, um, down to 188, I'm gonna stand up and show you what I look like. So I have a little undergarment shirt that kind of squeezes my tummy in. I don't know if you guys can see me, I hope you can. I just realized the battery was gonna die, so I'm gonna hurry up. So this is me, 188 pounds. These are size 16 pants. They're very loose. I don't know if you can see that. My stomach was way out here because these were tight. So these pants are very loose. My incisions look absolutely amazing. I look good and I feel good, except for today I'm exhausted. So, um, yeah, so it's been an amazing experience so far. I get nauseous every now and then and I wanna gag or throw up. Um, sometimes because I don't get my vitamins or protein in and I gotta remind myself, this, that's the worst thing about it right now is my vitamins and protein. 
So anyway, my battery is going to die. It's a short update today, but other than that, I am losing weight. It's not at a rapid speed, but I'm still losing weight. So we'll see you guys all next week for week num number six. And uh, I love you guys so, so much. Ciao.